Ah, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a over, world of JK. trouble. So here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Akashev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book. And the X Factor tonight is that has been in his career. Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers, is what they call him. Islam Akashev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbula. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbula's presence <laughs> in the Makashev corner. Islam Makashev has graced the octagon. We are set to go for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Shara Bullock And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Islam Makachev. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Let's do it. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven elite as well. A true five-tool player who many believe, by year's end, could just be the king of the lightweight division. Oh, great block there. Just out of range with that right hand. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Circling away towards the left now. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking. Oh, he's Under three minutes now to go in the round. Three, two, three. Makashev gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. And everything's landing with so much power. Uh, 
fighting from both sides. Lands in the left hand. Nice body kick there. Good jab. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Starter mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. One minute. Oh, nice kick. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. First round winding down here. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Oh. Take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, we see this a lot, DC, but this instance, it's particularly surprising to see a wrestler on his level not attempt to change the level. I don't understand it. You know, when you have that weapon, when you have that ability to take people to the ground, you have to use it. Even if it's to set up your strike, I don't understand why he is not trying to change his level, get to the hips, and get takedowns. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, it comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, certainly not the style of fight we expected to see out of this wrestler here tonight. They say insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result, and this dude's insane. He's insane, John. And, you know, many times we speak about wrestlers falling in love with the hands when you show that you can strike a little bit. That is exactly the case tonight. This guy was able to strike in fights past, and now he feels as though he can do it every time. He's got to get back to wrestling. Striking is not what got him here. It has been the wrestling. He's got to turn back to what has made him who he is today. All right, talk to me, champ. He's got great submission skills, good offensive wrestling. He hasn't so much as even shot for a takedown tonight. I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck in between. He's good wrestling, but he's not great wrestling. He's great once the fight hits the ground, and he is unsure of how to get it there. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Chip. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks, and he's taking full advantage of them. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. One minute now to go round two. Beautiful kick lands there. Oh, roundhouse kick, style points on that one. Back and forth we go. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that one. 
All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting... Ready to fight. Ready. The third round underway. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, put their foot in the gas, and really start to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what's going Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You can tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure if I should knock this fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Makashev's shot is blocked. Well, this is exactly the sense of... Oh, shot. The there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! Big power shot there. Oh, masterful job by him controlling the range and other punch lands. Nice technical strike there and... Oh, yeah, that shot cut him open. Yeah, you can see it right there. The blood's starting to trickle down. He can see the work paying off now. He'll start to target that cut. Oh, the head kick lands. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as the goal. Well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, like that. that crimson ring, is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. All right, so there's the end of the round, and we will continue to keep an eye on the cut on the nose. That thing is only getting worse. And again, you got to get that guard up, and even when he does, it seems like the strikes are getting through. That is a significant cut now on the... You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. That's a big strike right there. Really putting his kicks together now. You know, DC, you're usually pretty prophetic when it comes to these game plans and strategies. Are you surprised he hasn't even tried to take him down yet? Yes, it's very surprising to watch a guy that has this type of wrestling chop not trying to attempt to get this. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And 
The other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Islam Makachev. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.